Hi everybody, Mrs. Greco back at school and you guys are back at home. How's everyone doing? Today is Tuesday. If yesterday was Monday, April 13th, what would today be? Tuesday, April 14th. I think some of you said that. Great job. So I want to say good morning. I got my trusty, cute little magnifying glass. I've been looking around to Jake and Tristan and Abby and Glenn and Emma and Jameson and Trist Cristiano and Addison and Auden. I'm going to flip my eyes now. And Emily and Rory and Jackson and Abigail, Stefan. Declan and Ryan. Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a nice evening and you're ready to come to school and have fun with me this morning. Okay, so, oh, I just want to stretch my body. So we're going to stand up and we're going to do a little yoga. So hopefully you'll get up and I'm going to show you a picture tell you what the, the stands are, and we're gonna make them. Okay, well, standing straight up like this, getting ready, it's called the mountain pose. Can you do it? Stand up with your arms down. Now, this is called the star pose. Stand up and raise your hands and stretch as high and strong as you can go. Ooh, this is tricky. This is the dancer pose. Bet some of our girls can do this because they're ballet dancers. So, ready? Let me check it. Hands right here. Ta-da! Put one hand up and stretch and grab your leg. Probably just for a few minutes. Let's see this one. Ooh, this might be tricky, but I think you can do it. I think we've done this. Put one leg up to your knee and stretch up. Oh, I can do it. Ready? One, two, three, four. And down. The tree pose. How about the warrior? This is good. Bend one knee, stretch one knee back, and get those arms and stretch. Wonder how low you could go. Stretch. Oh, that feels really good to me. Okay. The warrior pose. This is a triangle pose. Let you look. It's a little tricky. Let's see if Mrs. Greco can do it. Ready? Put one hand down all the way and stretch and stretch your arm up. Put your legs straight. Kind of looks like a V. One arm down and one arm up. Oh, that feels good. Stretch it and wake up your body. Ooh, this is called the upside down gorilla. What? Okay, you see it? Go like this. Bend your head down and bring those arms straight up. Woo! Or you could even go like this. Might be a little bit easier. That, you can stretch your whole leg and arms. I feel it. Whoop. What? This is just called the gorilla. This is silly. I'm going to do it this way so you don't see my bottom to you. But ready? Stretch all the way down. And put your hands all the way and look through your legs. Look the back behind you. Ooh, it's totally stretching my legs and my arms. Ooh, I'm very warm. This is called the half moon. Look at that. Again, ready? Put your hand down. Ooh, I hope Mrs. Greco can do this. And put your arm up. Ooh, let's count to five. One, two. Three, four, five. Excellent job. Oh, and now we're going to sit down. This is called the flower. Oh, we can get down. Kind of put your feet a little bit, kind of like crisscross applesauce. And then you lay your arms down. Oh, and then sometimes when you're done, it's called namaste. Goodbye. Okay. So today I thought, since yesterday we did what's missing, we can do an estimation too. And I found all these different kinds of balls in our room and I collected them. 
Ooh, there's balls with holes, and look at this one. This looks like, looks like at first I thought it had rubber bands on it, but it doesn't. So there's different ones. I'm gonna let you look. I'm gonna count to 10, and beep, the beeper's gonna go off, and then we're gonna count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beep! Time's up. Okay, let's see what you guess. <gasps> Let me think. I'm going to pour them out. Ooh, lots of them. And let's count. Ready? Come help me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <gasps> eleven. Ooh, well, I hope you guessed good. Eleven. And eleven is a one and a one. There you go. Okay, fun. Well, it is Tuesday. Anybody know what else fun day you do on Tuesday? I know at my house. We have Taco Tuesday. We love tacos at our house, and I bet you guys do too. So we're gonna do a taco book, and then we're gonna do a taco project. How fun is that? All right, but you know what I'm gonna do first? I almost forgot. I'm gonna do my letter and numbers. We made a fun game. Now, you can go get your journals if you want, and in your journals, you can write, like I wrote, letters and numbers. Or if you just want to do a big piece of paper at home, you have a piece of paper and you write letters and numbers on it. Hmm, I have all these circles on the bottom. Some have letters on them, some have numbers on them. Can you help me put them in the right order? number. It is a B. B. Yep, it's a letter. So I'm going to put it underneath there. Now, if you don't have, if you don't want to cut out, well, it's probably best to cut out circles if you want to do this at your own house. It's fun. And you can, you can draw your own names or mommies and daddies can help you do your own, your own names, the letters or numbers. Okay, what's this? <gasps> what do you think? Is it a letter or number? It's a seven. Yep, it's a number. <gasps> How about this? M, M. Yep, it's the number, letter. This is black, are we silly? And how about this? Oop. Oop. Backwards, upside down. It's a five. L, la, 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 la. A number? No, it's a letter. How about a C? Yep, it's a letter. And I made some with colored letter, or I, if you just have white paper, you can do white paper too. <gasps> what about this? What number is it? Two. Yep. Yeah. And it goes with numbers. How about this? I'm not going to say it. Z. Z. It's a Z. Yep. It's a letter. Look at that. How fun is that? Whoa. This is a little tricky now. Think you can do this one? <gasps> one and a five. Yep, it's a number, and it's the number 15, one in a five, 15. And then I have this. <gasps> That's a letter. D, over here. What about this one? Yep, it's 
a six. The number six. How are you guys doing? I bet you're doing great. Oh, another one. It's a little tricky. It comes after nine and before 11. Ten. You're right. And is it a number or a letter? I think it's a letter. No. Mrs. Greco silly. It's a number. Okay, we have a couple more. Let's move them over here. I have this m, 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 m. What do you think? Yep, it's a letter. It comes between two and four. Yep, number three. So it's the number. And our very last one, er, what do you think? Yep, I think you're right. It's a letter. Excellent job. So how fun would that be? To write it in your journal, and you can decorate it, or get a piece of paper and do like this, and play with anybody. Okay. All right. Here's a really cute book about tacos and dragons. Dragons love tacos by Adam Rubin and Daniel Salmeri. Okay. He drew the pictures, which are so cute. Ready? Hey, kid. Do you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and little, beep, teeny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's a smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate, whoo, and so does Mrs. Greco, spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Ooh, look at that. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears whoosh, smoke. Just one single speck of a hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons a tummy trouble. And when dragons get tummy troubles, oh boy, watch out. So if you wanna make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Some tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Ooh, cheese, my favorite, check. These are all good toppings for the tacos for dragons. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy tacos toppings? Ooh, what do you think? It's already showing his tummy. Dragon love, dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of good friends' laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is a taco party. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you will need buckets, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill it with, fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. See that boat filled with tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the si spicy salsa, in fact, Bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. And that's what he's doing. 
preparing it. Look at all these tacos in all the windows. That's a lot. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decoration. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Look at that. So many tacos and so many dragons. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. Wait. Hey, what are those little green things in the salsa? <gasps> We did not read the fine print. Jalapeno peppers. Oh, those are spicy. What? Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa. Those are jalapeno peppers. They're super spicy. I know you love tacos, dra tacos but dragons but are not going to like these tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh-oh. What do you think's going to happen to those dragons? Ooh! Oh, no! Too late! Look at all that fire coming out of their mouths. Pretty spicy tacos. <gasps> and what happened? Where's the party? Where's the house? Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad about wrecking it. Maybe they just, maybe they're just in it for the taco break. What? They're helping him rebuild his house. After all, dragons do love tacos. Oh, and now they're ready for another taco party. So, to go with our taco book is a fun taco project. Let's see what Mrs. Hassan's doing, and we can enjoy the rest of the morning. All right, boys and girls, wasn't that a fun story about the dragons and the tacos? So, we've got a cute little craft that you can make at home if you'd like to make your own tacos, and you can make a whole set for the family. So, if you have a sheet of brown paper, any color, we're going to fold it, and we're going to cut holding the fold so we don't have to cut more than one time and just I'm not really sure how a taco shell is shaped so I'm just going to make mine kind of like this I'm going around kind of like that and then when I open it I can put the stuff inside so if you have any other paper green for that lettuce or jalapeno peppers and this can be orange for cheese, red for tomatoes. So we cut some paper and we tore some. You can tear it up so it looks a little more like tomatoes and lettuce. Get your glue stick out. You can glue everything in your taco, fill it up. If you want to put some meat in there, you could do that. Cut up little pieces of meat. Maybe you prefer a taco salad. Glue your things on the plate. You don't have to use a shell or this is my favorite. If you cut a bunch of triangles out of paper, do you know what you can make? That's right, nachos! Put them all on the plate, put all the toppings on, and maybe you can trick your brothers and sisters and go, look, I made you nachos! All right, have a great day, boys and girls. Okay, how about let's do some riddles like we do at our end of our day. Okay, ready? I'm a shape with no corners. I'm a shape with no sides. I'm the shape of the yolk of an egg that's fried. What is that shape inside of your egg? Hmm. Did you say circle? You're right. The number of sides and corners on me is the same. Oh, no. I'm. Nope, nope. Yep, that was right. The number of sides and corners on me is the same as a pizza or pie slice. It's three. Ooh, it has three sides. When you cut a piece of pizza, you can get that, or a pie. Did you say triangle? Yep, you did it. Okay, ready? I'm the four-sided shape. On a hopscotch game, if you measure my sides, they'll all be the same. What has four sides that are the same? 
One, two, three, four. Did you say square? Yep, you're right. Now, this is a tricky one. Again, I have four sides, but I'm not a square. I am the shape of a dollar, a towel, a stair. Hmm. Let's see, a dollar bill has two long sides and two short sides, and it's not a square. Yep, it's a rectangle. Ooh, those were fun. I gotta tell you, my tummy is grumbling. Hearing that taco story, listening and seeing Mrs. Hassan's taco projects making me pretty hungry. We're gonna send a little recipe on how to do other tacos, a recipe for tacos. How do you make your tacos? And I thought since we're getting hungry, it would be fun to sing what? Well, what do we have at school? We don't have lunch or dinner, but we have our snack. Can you guys pretend? Let's pretend we have like our tacos in front of us. And let's sing, ready? Na 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 na, na 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 na. Na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 na. We're thirsty and we're hungry. We want to fill our tummies. We know the food is yummy. Though, so thank you for our snack. Na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 na. Bon appetit. Enjoy your snacks for today or maybe a Taco Tuesday tonight. See you later, everybody.